Senate, Senate President Keith Faber. Uh, Senator, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. I wanted to get your impressions on the first day of the convention. What you think of things so far? Well, first of all, everything looks great. The speakers have been great. Today's talking about security, and it's something that certainly we need to talk about and work on and focus as a party, but frankly, as a nation. Uh, our current president has made us less safe, and so we need a, a leader who's going to make us more safe. What are you going to be looking for uh, watching in terms of security tonight from the speakers and also from uh, the presumptive nominee, Donald Trump? Well, specifically, the one thing I keep looking for is somebody who believes strongly that states are laboratories of democracy. I'm looking for somebody who's going to encourage and promote the states as places of innovation. You know, what works in California may not work in Connecticut. What works in Ohio may not work in Oregon. But we know that the founders were very smart guys, and they intended the states to be able to find state-based solutions for most of the problems. And so I'm looking for somebody who wants to make the states partners with the federal government, not junior partners. Tell us what you like about Donald Trump's plan for national security. Well, look, as I've said before, you know um, Donald Trump wasn't my candidate. I went to 14 states for my candidate, Governor Casey. However, he is going to be my nominee. And as I look at presidential general elections, it's binary. You get a one or a zero. You don't get a five or a nine or a seven. You get a one or a zero. I'm never going to support the zero. And that zero to me is Hillary Clinton. To me, it's about uh, education. It's about opportunities. It's about making sure my nine-year-old and 11-year-old have as bright a future as my parents and grandparents gave me. And so for me, it's about who's, who the president's going to appoint to the Supreme Court and the lower courts and what kind of policies in general they're going to foster. Donald Trump, while I may not agree with him 100% of the time, certainly uh, uh, Ronald Reagan said it best. He said somebody I agree with 80% of the time isn't my enemy, they're my friend. And in the end, I hope Donald Trump will appoint good people around him. And then I hope he leads like Ronald Reagan. If he does that, he will be an extraordinary president. Does that 80% include national security, or do you have differences with him on that? Well, look, uh, national security, I think that Donald Trump will keep us safer than Hillary Clinton. Uh, Hillary Clinton has a track record of failure. If you look at what she did as Secretary of State and you look at what she did supporting the president, uh, our, we are far less safer. America, when we lead, makes the world a safer place. We need a country who's willing to lead. Now, do I agree with Donald Trump on all of his ideas and disengagement? No. I think there needs to be a hybrid there. But in the end, I think the president is going to have to deal with the circumstances that they're dealt. And I think Trump will deal with those circumstances in a far stronger way. Uh, switching gears, do you think that so far the convention's done a good job of showcasing Ohio? Uh, look, Ohio, the delegates are enjoying Ohio. I literally walking in here had a, had a, a lady that I met in a line someplace waiting. Uh, come up to me and said, hey, your state's doing a great job. We really think Ohio's really kind of neat. And I appreciate that. Cleveland looks great. Everybody's hospitable. Uh, we have plenty of safety and security. The law enforcement community is doing a fabulous job. So from that perspective, everybody's doing a great job. Inside the arena, everything looks great. It's fabulous. I don't like the fact that Ohio's back in a corner, but there, there could be other reasons for that. Usually Ohio's front and center. Um, I'd rather us be front and center. Well, we'll be front and center on Election Day for sure. We always are. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Senator. Thanks for having me. Yep.